Welcome to Road Notes. I'm Mark, and today we want to go over how we set up when we get to a campground. So let's get started. Okay, so we just got here. We've set up our RV. However, the first thing I do is, when we back into the spot is, are we level? If we're not level, we need to level out the RV. We do not have a automatic leveling system. So what we need to use are leveling blocks. They would go under the front tire to raise the RV up if we need to. On this particular site, we're fortunate enough that it is level. Something else you might want to carry with you are some wheel chops. So you can secure the wheels if you need to. Again, on this site, we did not need to do that. So I'm going to take you along the passenger side of the RV. And the first things we do is when we get to a new site is to connect our power source. Here's our RV power cable. Goes into the RV campsite pedestal. This is a 30 amp campsite. It gets plugged in and that should give you power to your RV. The next thing we do is Leslie will go inside and give our puppies some AC. Just waiting for the beep. There There's it the is. Beep, which means we have power to the rig. And the AC is on. This looks kind of like a mess, but it's very simple. Here we have our cable TV, if your campsite provides it, this one does. So cable TV gets plugged in to the RV and into the RV campsite provided cable box. Right next to it, you can see our water, our campsite provided water spigot. I come around this way. So we attach our, our two-way to the RV campsite provided spigot, attach our city water hose, and attach it to our city water connection on the RV. That will allow us to have water inside the RV. Little tip is when you set it up and you turn on the water, turn on your water gradually and not all at once. Allow the water to catch up and allow the water pressure to build up over time. Right here underneath the RV is our sewer hookup. So we take our sewer hose, connect it to the RV, into the RV provided sewer outlet if the RV campsite has one. Not all campsites have sewer outlets. Some campsites just provide you a dump station. Um, usually on your way out. This one has it, so we were able to utilize on that. Moving to the rear of the RV, we typically set up our little canopy here that we have.
typically try to always have it in the back of our RV, which gives us a little bit of an extension for a covered garage, if you will. So underneath that, we keep our electric bikes. And we also cover them up at night with a bike cover. Coming up to the front of the RV. We set up our little cooking station with our Blackstone griddle and we will have a separate video coming out on that. And of course, our awning. Now underneath the awning we have our carpet set up. We have a little trash can right here. We use that for recyclables. Fan set up, our two chairs, a table that we try to always keep pointed at the TV. You got it. This is our little step up to the RV. And this is just one of those little exercise step ups because our TV does not have any kind of steps that pull out. And it is quite of a leap to get into the RV. So we utilize one of those steps. A step, six, side touch, side touch. A step, six, side touch, side touch. This time add side lateral arm. And that's all there is to it, to our setup. Okay, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, thumbs up, leave us a comment below. If you have any questions or comments, also don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and hit that little bell button that's up here so you can get notified for new videos that come out weekly. You can also reach us on Instagram, Facebook, and on our website at roadnotesrv.com and you can sign up for our blogs there as well. We'll see you guys next time.